The following audio is intended for mature audiences and contains adult content, graphic language, graphic violence, and strong sexual content. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Fedori, everyone. My name is Tony, otherwise known as Slade. I am your DM for this evening. I am here with Haxall. Hello. And our new friend, Milani. Hello. All right. So we do have to give a brief little recap as to what happened last time. Just for my player's sake and technically for my own, because I've semi-forgotten. So last we left off our... Two players here found themselves in the middle of a desert. Mouse in particular uh, had been unconscious for several days and found himself in a cave with two unfamiliar but also familiar folk, uh, one of them being a panda folk and the other one being a kitsune. These two individuals, uh, as our good friend Mouse has stated are, have become stalkers are, and are completely following his orders. However the case may be, these three individuals finally made it to an outskirts of a town in order to hopefully get some supplies and figure out where they needed to go. Well, turns out the town needed their help. They needed for these three people to go down into the uh, bottom of a uh, of a ravine and swim down to a underwater city so that they can go and figure out why supplies were no longer being brought back up to topside in order for the people in that little small community to survive. They managed to get down there. Come to find out that uh, our friend Mouse's father was the reason he uh apparently is a zombie and is also being controlled by adam the individual who claimed to be his dad and also a spirit in the form of a wraith told them that either you can let us go or we can uh end your lives as we all know it of course mouse being mouse could not handle the fact that his father was now a zombie, so he tried to take a shot at him. And because of this, they now have appeared in the middle of a giant arena. What is in store for our players today? Let's find out. That's where we are now. So the three of you, Mouse, Milani, and your Kitsune friend, who still has yet to been asked her name, are in the middle of an arena. Shitbag is not here for the sole purposes of that. He was teleported back to the town. So if anybody who is a fan of Shitbag, and I know there's several, asks why he has not been here, that is why. But the three of you are here. You're standing on a bridge in the middle of the arena. There's several different little locations that you can see. You can see a tower. You can see what looks to be like a, uh, a wall. Several large boulders. Below you, underneath the bridge, looks to be like an endless pit, to be exact. But there are four different exits, quote-unquote, all of them are barred with a giant gate. So there seems to be no form of escape currently. But you do hear a loud rumble coming from the east side of where you're currently standing at. What do you do? There's no, uh, there's no enemies currently yet, right? Currently, no, but you do hear what sounds to be like a low rumble coming from the east um just to be clear because of um past um sessions um is uh north top of the picture north is top south is bottom so yes okay where's east tony uh it would be the <laughs> right no, thank you no, i literally fucker. did the same thing i was sitting here like wait east what North, I was seeing if he knew. Though I was seeing if he knew. In this picture, north is up, south is down, east is right, west is left. So yes, <laughs> I know my directions. You <laughs> we, had a, we had a session before where um, 
he said north was top and south was like left to be fair that's <laughs> how the book wrote it so you know we were like, no, don't, at like, me. Don't, don't, don't at me, me. <laughs> don't don't just don't, don't at me do not at me it's fine um <clears throat> So I'm gonna get off. How how sturdy is this bridge? Like, is it like a it's, a rope bridge, or is it like just like these planks and it's been built? It's and it's, sturdy? it's a plank bridge. Yes, say, is it sturdy. Uh, is it sturdy? It feels sturdy. Mm -hmm. Feels sturdy. I think the um the koala bear, the giant koala bear, should get off. <laughs> okay, uh, one she's like seven hundred pounds. Not a koala. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I will take the first step off okay. then. Okay. Because I don't trust the weight that this thing can carry. Sure. Plus, if I'm not over the hole, I can't fall in the hole, so. Sure. Well, I mean, from the looks of it, mm. only the kitsune's over the hole, so. Well, all three of you were on the bridge, but the, the hole below you, it looks to be like it's a complete abyss. Like there's, it just um, never ends. So, but I... she is also <clears throat> going to get off now that you're off. Rope, 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 tinder, torch. I'm going to toss it. I'm going to light a torch and toss it down. See if I, it'll light up the bottom. Okay. I'm going to go like right <clears throat> go for it. here and toss one in. Okay. Okay. You toss a torch down and it just keeps going. I can mow myself. Mm, interesting. Just to be on the safe, I went the other way only because that's the closest way to get down. Anyway. Sure. <clears throat> sure. Let's see. Uh, the rumble is getting louder. And you said it's coming from this direction. You said it was Right there from... where the ping is yeah. at. Where's the ping? I didn't see the ping. Can you ping again? I didn't see the ping. Can you ping again? I, I didn't see it. Oh, my lanta. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's from 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 over over here in this one little spot. Okay, this one spot is where the pink. No, oh, it's, it's in that direction. Yes, right there's a hole. Here. There's a hole here, guys. There's gotta be a hole, or maybe it's like maybe it's like um, tremors, and they're in the ground. And if we move, we need to stay on the rocks. Must stay on the, <laughs> <clears throat> the graboids. There's the graboids. Okay. Um. Okay. If they're coming from that direction. Um, there's nothing in like the stands, right? There's no, is there anything in the stands? No, there's nothing in the stands. No, so, it's empty. I'll, gotcha. 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 Um, I will, I'm going to run over here and hide behind this rock. <laughs> okay. Like on see, this I was side, thinking make, the like, same thing. But <laughs> to I was kind of like see like... from that direction. I want to kind of peek <clears throat> slightly to see what comes through. Okay. Just start hide. off by making me a stealth roll. Oh, I can stealth. Okay. I was like, like a, uh, you do like a, um. <clears throat> Let me pull it up. What's my stealth at? I guess the kitsune's gonna stay there. Cool. Um, <laughs> well, I'm about to move her in a minute, but uh, uh, I gotta uh, look for something. I got a 15 for my stealth roll. Okay. Yeah. So you managed to you you managed to be going into stealth pretty pretty decently. Yeah. Go ahead now and make me a perception is check. This, is this a bear trap right there? No, that is a tower. That is a full-on tower that you can climb up on top of. Really? Yes. You didn't. Do I have time hear, to? Uh, can I? Can I? Do I have time to go up there? I thought that was like some like platform on the if ground. If you okay, oh, so I, if you want to climb up on top of that, I'm going to say I'm removing your stealth and going to make you re-roll it. Okay. 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 Uh, that's if you want to do that's that. That's not a bear trap, though. I want to make sure because I'm going to place myself right there. No, 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 no. The okay, that trap like... that's on there is not there, so it's just a tower. <laughs> I got a critical fail. Uh, oh. you're you're doing that weird thing that you typically do, where like you think you're hidden, but your tail's sticking out. Stealth, 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 stealth. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm doing, doing like clap trap in the, in the beginning of Borderlands. Uh, go ahead and make me a perception check. Uh, now that you're up <clears> on the <throat> tower, and do it with advantage because you are high up. Uh, Milani, what are you doing in the meantime? Uh, and the kit soon is going to go into stealth ex the way you t um, originally were going to do it. I'm fine not being in stealth, though. I got an eight. <clears throat> wow. Uh, you don't... Uh, did you roll with advantage, though? Oh, I didn't. No. <clears throat> no, roll with advantage. My bad. I forgot Okay. That. So the rumble is coming from the gate and it's slowly starting to open. Okay. Well, I'm going to be 
over on that side that I'm on. Okay. Kind of hidden, kind of not. Only so I can see what's coming out of the gate. Okay. Go ahead and make me a stealth check then to see if you can go into, like, being sneaky. The the kit soon has become quite literally invisible. <laughs> 21. 21, you also go in stealth. So you and your friend are both super stealthy while uh, the the male figure who claims that you guys are stalking him and uh, is starting a harem uh, has his tail wagging out randomly uh, and you I'm don't yelling. know why. <laughs> I'm yelling. Come get me, you motherfuckers! <laughs> Uh, let me see if Miss Kitsune happens to notice what is coming out of the gate. Uh, she does. So, all right. The gate what about starts me, to open. Can I see? No, no, you don't. Do you I don't... roll a perception to see? Well, no, I... you, you rolled a 17, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you will be able to see it. Uh, Milani, go ahead and roll me a perception check as well to see if you can kind of see what's coming out of the gate. You, all three of you, will see it. So. Coming out of the east gate, you see these. What the heck? Do do I know or anybody know what these are? Uh, they look like zombies. Uh, they are indeed zombies. Woo! They are indeed zombies. Oh, I, did, I didn't want to have to zoom in, so my bad. They are indeed in. zombies. You see three zombies coming out from the east gate, and as soon as they come out, you now hear a rumble coming from the west gate. And I need you all to roll initiative. Well, <clears throat> wouldn't I roll initiative or all, I, all you and stealth. Milani, you and Milani will definitely roll initiative. The kit soon is also going to roll initiative. And then I'm going to roll initiative for the zombies. Okay. 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 So I know they're both in stealth. So I know they, they're not detected yet. Okay. So question what's, what's, what what do I roll for initiative? Okay, so let me pull up your character sheet because I want to know. All oh, right, so God. do you see next to where it says your armor class? It says initiative. Oh, on your character sheet. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna roll one d twenty plus that number in initiative for. And what I'm seeing, you have a plus four. So you're gonna roll one d twenty plus four, and that's gonna tell me the turn order of uh. Who goes where, basically. Okay. So I rolled mine. He rolled his. Okay. Let me just a second. For whatever reason, it's not. Uh, add turn. There we go. For whatever reason, it was being finicky. Add turn. Add turn. Add turn. Had turn. Okay. So, Mouse, you rolled a non. Yes. Okay. Uh, Milani, you rolled an eight. The Kitsune rolled a... Let me see what her stats are. She rolled a 17 with her Jesus. plus three. So, why did you change yours to 20? <laughs> because I didn't know that was a thing. I was just like... I was like, oh, I wonder if I could... It was highlighting, so I'm like, I wonder if I can alter it. <laughs> okay, so there, there. Now I'm for the zombies. Why did you do that? So, like, stop. Don't, 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 don't mess me up, because, because, uh, yeah. Just don't, don't worry, don't, don't worry. Guy. I would have changed guy. it Just don't. I would have changed it uh, The zombies do have a minus two to their initiative, so there's that. Uh, okay, that one still rolled better than all of you, except for the Kitsune. It's sad. That one rolled a nat one, so that one is for sure going last. <laughs> and then that one rolled a four, so it goes... Under me! <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to go in that turn order currently. So you've got your Kitsune friend going first. You've got one zombie going after her. Mouse, Milani, one zombie, and then the last zombie. And then it'll repeat the order. I will say that there is a layer action that has to do with the gates. So because, and I'm saying that now because we have Milani being new, basically. So the layer actions are going to go in between Mouse and Milani. So uh, just keep that in mind as we go through. So as soon as Mouse ends his turn, the layer action will go into effect. 
All right. So with that in mind, we are now going to go and start on the first turn. And we've got our Kitsune friend. She is going to... Let's see. I'm going to do... I'm not going to use any spells right now. I'm going to shoot my bow. Uh, that does hit, I believe. Yes. Okay. So then roll. 1d8. 1d8 plus 5. 8 damage. Straight. I went straight robot for you. Oh, God. Okay. So, well, hopefully you can get that fixed on your end, but uh, unless it's happening to everyone else. Not on my end. I heard some static as well. I think it's on my... Okay, all right. Well, I'll keep going just just in case because Rhaegar, uh, Rhaegar is here, everybody. He's just got himself muted, so just keep that in mind. It's fine for me now. Okay, all right. So the kid soon is going to shoot her bow at the zombie closest to her and is going to deal a little bit of damage and she's going to shoot again and misses okay all right that is her turn next we have mr zombie over here he is going to go Right there, and end his turn. Mouse, it's your turn, buddy. You want to take a shot? <clears throat> okay. A At which one exactly? <laughs> tequila. Um. <laughs> tequila. <laughs> a tequila. I guess that has my hand Uh, you got to pull this up, and it zoomed out. How disappointing! This is so frustrating. No. Uh, my um, max of uh, plus two. We can get a max of plus two if it pushes your firearms. So, hold on. What was it? Plus <clears> five. <throat> one d ten. Two. <clears throat> All right. Um, I'm gonna take a shot. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. At, uh, uh, this one. Sure. Yeah. Um, it's not letting me ping. Oh, I don't have my. Oh, I'm gonna do that it, one there. One. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, I guess I. Can you see this? Yes. Okay. I'll just do that one. Do that. That's my. Because I'm using it to kind of figure out where everybody's at. Gotcha. Um, like my line of fire. So the shot is 1d10. Lame. No, well, roll. Oh, no, no. 1d20. Yeah, that's right. right. 1d20 plus 5. Yes, Milani, it will actually. Uh, 17 hit? Uh, yes. And then it's 1d10. No modifier. 3 damage. Take my second shot. Where's my roll? V roll that. 13. Uh, that does hit. And then 1d10. 6 damage. So total 9 total. Okay. <clears throat> Get these. Uh, 9 total damage on this one? Yeah, on that one. All right. It's looking, it's looking hurt. Quite a bit. It's it's it didn't like that at all. All right, you good on your turn, or do you want to move? Uh, I'm I'm good up here. Okay. All right. So before I change the turn order, we are going into the layer action. The sound that you hear coming from the west gets louder. You guys look over there, and I'm going to say with your passive perceptions, you're, you'll be able to notice it at your distance. Uh, the kid seems kind of too worried about the zombies near nearest her to go and look. But the gate is starting to open slowly. Okay. All right. Go over to Milani. So, Milani, it is your turn. So, if you have any questions as far as what to do, I've got your character sheet up, and you can ask me whatever questions you want to ask, and I will walk you through it. You are at the very back. The zombies are on the east side of you. So what would you like to do on this turn? Um, I don't think I can really hit anybody from here. You do have spells, technically. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot about those. Yeah, with you being a bard. Also, you can, if you don't want to cast spells at the moment, you can technically move closer to Mouse and do your bardic inspiration stuff, like for music and whatnot, but that's completely up to you. I don't want to sing. Um, man. I'll be honest with you, dude. The um that one series anime when it gets really really bad later on I wonder if it's going to trigger people probably my <laughs> <laughs> god I haven't watched it yet the new episode I hadn't watched that <laughs> one or the other one yet mm, I guess yeah I'll move closer to the tiny thing the tiny mouse man that has his tail ma- sticking yes. out. I'm I'm still stealth though when I go, right? Technically no, because you're coming out of stealth from being hidden behind the rock that you're hiding Try behind. To roll for stealth. Nice. You can see this big ass panda bear just crawling along the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sneaky, I'm sneaky, I'm sneaky. <laughs> I- I'm hidden. <laughs> that fucking um, uh, mammoth from Ice Age. Oh, right? I know, right, Manny. Manny. Or would it be like crazy for me to like I don't even know if you could see my my pings. I don't even know how to show ping. Hold you had to hold <clears throat> down the left mouse button. So oh, right there. Yeah, there so if go. I go I there, can I run uh, roll another You can roll another stealth roll, yes. Okay. So Because there is like that barrier that's sitting right there that you can right. hide behind. Okay, so that's how far can you move? Are you 30 feet? If I think she's yeah, she can move to 30 feet. So you can you can move 30 feet or you can do a dash action and move 60 feet, but if you use a dash, you can't that's all you can do that turn. Mm, wait. You can move how up to doing? 60 feet with a dash. I'm like, how are you doing this? Oh, um, it's the fourth option on the little bar on the left. Um, I put mine on snap to enter and show to others, and then you can just like click on yourself and figure out like how far you can move the distance. Can, yeah, and it'll show it to everybody else. And I use that mainly for like whenever snap. I'm trying to uh, move snap her. to what? Okay. And then you just hold it down. You click on the spot, hold it down, and drag. That's confusing. So wait, how far is it from where I am to here? I can't. I. It's. I don't know. What is that? That that was me. Oh, I was like, I didn't it's, do anything. <laughs> that, it, it was it's the same thing that he's doing, but I've got special features on my end that I can do to make it do other things. Oh, I can make you shoot acid out of your ass if I out of my to. booty. Okay. <laughs> no, it. I don't understand this. But yeah, if you if you do a dash action to where mouse is at here, that's mm-hmm. fifty feet. Sixty feet is right past him. At the other yeah, past him. So if you move here, that's technically also a dash action. But uh even with you doing a dash, you can still use a free action to roll a stealth roll, but that's all you'll be able to do this turn. So you can either move to him or you can move here with a dash and then roll stealth. That's completely up to you, though. Um, yeah, I think I'll do. Uh, here and I'll roll another. St- there and I'll roll another. St- <laughs> I had to OK. All right. Myself. Gotcha. I think that was this. Let me make sure I'm putting the right thing. I it should be one d twenty plus your stealth, and from what I'm seeing, it's yes. plus four. Damn, I'm shown. <laughs> so, so uh, you're doing the same thing Mouse was doing, where you're 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 putting your face down in the ground, but your tail <laughs> is just sticking up in the air and it's my wagging. Big old booty. <laughs> they can see my big old booty. But that is technically your turn. All right, so we now go over to zombie number two, and it's going to move uh, 10, 15. It's going to move 20 feet there, 
and that is all it can do that turn. And the next one's going to do the same thing, but it's going to go right there. Oof. All right. We are now back over to the top of the order. We've got our Kitsun friend. She is going to move one space over, make two shots. Uh, that definitely hits. So let's see. Uh, same damage as before. That one is on Death's Door. And that one is also a hit. Mm-hmm. And it is dead. Yay, she killed one. These guys Even do not have a lot. Dead. Yeah. Uh, well, okay, hold up. Actually, that brought up a good point. Uh... Nope, it's back up to one HP. What? Yep. I'm glad you said something. Damn, I should have been quiet. <laughs> um. <clears throat> yeah, zombies have this effect that anything that puts them at uh, zero HP, unless it's uh, a certain type of damage type or it's a critical hit, they can roll a constitution saving throw to see if they can go back up to one HP. Boo. All right. So that is her turn. The first zombie is going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, and is going to end its turn. Mouse, it's your turn, buddy. Nineteen to hit on the one closest to me, and uh, seven damage. Okay. It is on death's door, my friend. Shall attack again? The same one? Yes, sir. 11 to hit. Uh, That hits. 8 damage. Okay, so I have to roll a DC of 8 in order to go back up to 1 HP. And I managed to do just that with a 12. Alright, so it's at 1 HP. All right. <clears throat> I crouch behind the cover of the tower inside. Uh, really roll right. me a stealth roll. Uh, well, I'm not trying to stealth. I'm just trying to get in cover. Okay. Gotcha. All just, right. Yeah. You know, just hiding. You got it. All right. Layer action. So with the layer action, the gate is fully open. And... What? <laughs> These pop out. Why? <laughs> All right. And I've got to roll for them. Oh, God. Okay. So add turn. Add turn. Add turn. This one rolled a nat 20. So technically it's an 18. Because I have minus two. That one rolled a two. And this one. Okay. That's weird. All right. So let's see. I'm going to put you there. You there. Okay. All right. Next on the order, Milani. Um, I'm reading the spells that I have. I, I'm, okay. So, I guess I'll do a, wait, hold on. So, how far is... This one from me. Which one? That one? This one. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 45 feet. Okay. Um, so this one's like around 50 or 60? Uh, it'd be more like 55, 60 at okay. an angle. <clears throat> so I think instead of hitting the one closer to me, only because I can't really hit it with any of my spells because 
I mean, I can't, I can, but it won't, I don't, I don't know. Because all of them are like 60 feet plus, except for like well, one. That one. Yeah. Um, I mean, it'll hit, it'll hit this one, right? But it won't really do anything different from it hitting this one. Yeah, it's, it's basically going to be the same regardless of which one you hit. It just depends on what spell you're going to cast as to exactly what will happen whenever you cast it. But the, the effects are the same regardless. Okay. So what I was reading, I think I'm going to do sacred flame. Okay. I think, um, yeah. Okay. All right. So, which one are you going to use Sacred Flame on? I use it on this one only because it's closer to me, and I don't know what it's planning. Okay. okay. All right. So, I have to make a dexterity saving throw, and I am not very dexterous as a zombie, so that's the good news. Uh, I fail. Yeah. So, you now have to roll... 1d8 to determine how much damage I take uh, from the Sacred Flame. No plus, right? No plus, just 1d8. Eight. Look at you! Okay. Make sure. No! Go away. I don't like when things pop up on the screen that they'll need to be there. All right. So yeah, it's it's looking pretty hurt. It it didn't like that at all. It it's it's still healthy, quote unquote, for being a zombie, <laughs> but it is uh it didn't like being hit by sacred flame at all. All right. Next up, we've got uh this mumbo jumbo right here. He is going to move right there. Oof. And he is going to make a slam attack against our Kitsune friend. And critically misses. So that doesn't do shit. All right. That was that turn. And now... Is it critically, it critically failed? I critically failed. <laughs> it, yeah, the zombie critically failed, yes. Nothing else happens? It just misses? Just misses. I know. Oh, man. So just sad. misses. Just misses. Uh, this one is going to move right there. Oh, my Lanta. Okay. And is going to roll a perception check to see if it can notice you because you technically are in stealth. Uh, it does not. It doesn't. Yay! It, it fuck, <laughs> like, I rolled two not ones in a fucking row, and uh, it doesn't know shit. Erg. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't see my big old booty. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're now at the top of the order, and the new zombies are coming into play. So we've got this guy right here 5, 10, 15, 20. It's going to go right there. On the dead body. And then this Kitsune is going to use. Which of her spells would be best for this? Because I don't want to use spell slides right now. Oh, shit. She has Sacred Flame, too. Fuck yeah. Okay. I want to do that. Uh, Dexterity saving throw. That fails. So this zombie now is officially dead. The one in front of her. Yes. The one cool. in front of her. That one is officially dead dead. Bye, zombie. All right. She is now going to move here. Yeah, so this one right here is still 1 HP, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, that okay. one is still 1 HP. She is going to use Action Surge and cast Sacred Flame again. Because she is technically an Arcane Archer. And that is a fail. Oof. So that one is also dead. So out of the original, oh, the OG zombies, mine is the only one alive, technically. Yeah, the only one that's alive, technically, is yours. But uh, these two are now dead. Mouse, I need you to roll me a perception check on the two that she just killed. Ten. 
Okay. So I'm going to say that you were close enough for this one here, the one closest to you that you were shooting at. So uh, when she shot her sacred flame, it's not like flame in the sense of like fire. It's more like a, a beam of light being shot out from her hands. And you could tell it was radiant type. So you can assume that radiant damage is like what you technically need to do in order to uh, officially defeat these zombies. Okay. All right. So let us go down to this zombie. It is going to go 5, 10, 15, 20. It's going to go towards you. And in its turn... That zombie is dead. This zombie is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20. It's going to go right there. And now... Wait, I can't even do that. Hold up. There we go. Okay, I, ha I had them backwards. All right, so it's actually Mouse's turn. So, Mouse, it's your turn. Um, <clears throat> How far up am I? Like, high, high up. You are about uh, roughly uh, 50 feet up. Okay. 50. The zombies will, for sure, if they try to climb up to you, will have to make strength checks in order to get up to you. So that is the good news. Right, 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 right. Just a minute looking something up. <sighs> oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm going to move right here. We'll take a shot okay. at this one. Yes, sir. Let's see, this one, 20, dirty 20. Uh, that hits, good sir. Eight damage. All righty. Same shot to the same one. 12. That hits. Uh huh. Six damage. It is on it is on death's door, good sir. Okay. Let's see. Let's see, I moved five feet. Let's see. Let me move back. Hmm. Ten feet. Oh, I can move another 15. I don't think I will. Let's see. Hold on. 5, 10. There, I used up the rest of my movement. I'm good. Oh, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> he went in a complete circle for no reason for those that are listening, but so it's fine. Uh, getting momentum. <laughs> getting momentum. All right. Tower. Getting running, <laughs> on a tower. <laughs> running in a circle on top of the tower, gaining momentum. <laughs> right. All right, so we've got the layer action. You start to hear a low rumble coming from the south this time. So close to Kitsune. Yes, it's closer to her. All right, uh, that is the layer action. Now we go to Milani. Okay, so I'm going to hit this one with Thunderclap. Or you're going to use Thunderclap. Thunderclap, yes. Okay. It has the five feet, whatever. Okay. I have to make a constitution saving throw. Mm -hmm. uh, I rolled a two, so that is not going to happen. Uh, so go ahead and roll your 1d6. One. Got it. Okay. So the stealth that you did have is no longer there, and all of the zombies now know of your presence and will be coming towards you now because Yay. of the, thund the thunderous boom that you just made. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So with that in mind, are you going to move at all? I will move. Okay. What I forgot, Tony? What's that? Hold on, I gotta find the uh, thing. I gotta pull up the the guns uh, stats. Stats, yeah, I've got yeah. them up just in case you forgot. Oh. Um, oh, I figured it out. Nice. Oh, okay. I have it. Oh, I have it. Oh, yeah, okay. there you go. 
Oh, okay, good, good, good. Because I thought I didn't. I thought I rolled below. Okay. No, I, I've been watching. I've gotcha, been watching. gotcha. I'll move. I'll do that. Um, what's it called? Move. Oh, thingy? okay. You can't do a dash action because you attacked on your turn. Oh, okay. So I can so only you, move how yeah, far? Yeah, you you can only move your speed. So it's kind of like you have to make a choice. You either dash or you can use your turn like normal. But if I dash. If you if you dash, then I'm taking then I'll have to take the one point of damage away. And then you just say, hey, instead of attacking on my turn, I'm going to dash. But uh on this turn, just just so that you get the hang of it, I'm gonna say that you did deal the one damage and you can move the 30 feet on this turn, but on next turn you'll at least know how that works now. Okay. So then I can move to You can move 30 feet. So I'll move here. Okay. okay. Alrighty. Go ahead and uh, do that. And we will move on to this zombie is going to move but now that it heard the thunderous boom actually. It's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20. It's going to go towards the sound that it heard. And then end its turn. That zombie is dead. This zombie is going to go at to the exact spot it heard the thunderous boom and then stop. All right, this zombie is going to go towards the thunderous boom. So 5, 10, 15, 20. And then we've got the Kitsune. She is going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And take a shot at this one, hopefully, with Sacred Flame, because it's a cantrip. Thank goodness for that. Roll a deck saving throw. Uh, that fails. And lucky son of a bitch, that was an exact eight. So this one is dead. <laughs> All right. Let's see, that one's dead. That one's dead. Mouse, it's your turn, buddy. <laughs> um, was it bonus action to reload? Um, for you now, yes, technically. I will use my bonus action to reload the Magoon. Yes, sir. Back up to six. Um, hold on. Give me a minute. I gotta adjust my pocket stuff. My inventory. Okay. Save. All right. Um. Hmm. I'm kind of curious. I can I can Oh, that one's dead. Oh, it's oh, dead. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Sacred Sacred Flames a cantrip, so she can just right, keep right. casting it. Right. 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 No. No. I got that. I didn't. I. I wasn't paying attention right there. I was looking through my 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 traits and shit, so I didn't know yeah. she attacked that one below me. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna attack the one right there on top of the dead body. You got that's it. That's on the squishy. Yeah, sure. Fucking Milani over there measuring the distance. Well, of yeah, I am. Like, Don't mm. judge me. <laughs> mm. She's my learning. She's learning. It's all Planning good. My next I'm going to do something different, and it might. But since there's no zombies next to me, I'm going to do it. I, I feel fine doing it. Um, okay. I'm going to perform. Um, uh, where's that? Where's that? Where's that? I just saw it. Uh, fuck, I lost it. Okay, so one of my features uh, as a sharpshooter is before you make an attack with a ranged weapon that you are proficient with, you can choose to take a minus five penalty to the attack roll. Oh, attack, I know what you're doing. If the attack yeah. hits, you add plus 10 to the attack's damage. So this could jam my gun. Um, but I feel like I've been rolling okay. Maybe I'll get a really good roll. So we're going to go for okay. it. We're going to go right. for it. Same thing. <laughs> so... Do I just roll a regular d20 since I have a plus five? Would that be uh a... Yeah, so w with you having a plus five normally, it the minus a... five will counteract that. So you're right. just going to roll a 1d20. And if you hit... <laughs> what <laughs> What did we learn? <laughs> I got it too. Oh, I, I, no, I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, How long okay. does it take to um unjam my gun? Because I know it's jammed now. It takes one full turn unless you critically fail. And then it will take two full turns. So on your next turn, right. you're going to have to unjam your gun. Huh. Uh-huh. 
Yep, yep, and the way that you, the way that you do that is, let me pull up your stats for your gun because I think I, I wrote it gun, down man. on there. I hate this gun so much. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Yeah, I, right. It's not my. It's not my original gun. It's not his original gun. I, uh, I, I'm. It, I literally punished him. Uh-huh. Oof. <laughs> punished me for being being great content. He punished me for making great content. <laughs> I'm literally getting punished. I'm, What's I'm, even I'm funnier on. was that the gun is literally named punishment in Spanish. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, so you're going to have to roll. According to the way I have this written, you're going to have to roll a sleight of hand. So on your oh, next turn. That's not bad. So you're going to have to roll on your next turn a sleight of hand right. to unjam it, and that will determine if you unjam it successfully or not. All right. I will um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I move 25 in a circle again. Sure. Okay. Layer action. The sound from the south gets louder. And then we go to Milani. Okay. Doing another uh, sacred flame. I don't remember which one I chose. <laughs> the ones with the X's on them are dead, so just keep that in mind. These up here that oh, do not no, have... Oh, no, I know. I'm not a hacksaw. I realize that they're dead. <laughs> okay. Well, that wasn't one. I didn't know that she had killed it. That's the only thing. Yeah, yeah. She she why hit exactly... Attention? I know what an X means. That's why you she... pay attention. Uh, Me, she I did the exact amount of damage to kill it, so that's the good news. Okay, so I'll hit it. I'll hit this one again. Okay. All righty. Uh, I have to roll a dex saving throw, actually. So that's... God dang it. <laughs> These minus threes on dex are killing me. Uh, but I fail on that. So roll your 1d8 to see how much damage you do. Oh, my Lanta, why? Only one? Okay. This is stupid. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you want to move again, or do you want to just hold off there for now? No, I'll stay here. All right. Uh, let's see. It's that one's turn. It's going to move 5, 10, 15, 20. Come towards the sound. Uh, that one is dead. Uh, this one is going to roll a perception check to see if it will notice that it just got hit, at, even though the sound is came from the spot it's currently standing at. These guys are not smart. They're, I mean, they're zombies, so... Uh, technically, it will see you, but, like, it just hit the mark. So, this one here is going to start going towards you now. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. It's going to go right there, and it's going to end its turn. And this one's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20. And stay put. Kitsune is next. She is going to go up here with a dash action. And she's going to end her turn. That zombie is dead. That zombie is dead. Mouse, your turn, buddy. I think Mouse died. I think he did. Sorry, I'm reading through some stuff. Okay. Um, what does it mean? See now, sorry, now I fucking lost it again. <laughs> are you trying to do? Are you trying to do the? Ex no, 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 not that. It's a different one. Fuck, where is it? Where's it at? Where's it at? Hold on, give me a minute. It was swapping weapons. Okay, here it is. It wait. No, that's not you it. You use an uh, unless it's a gun. You use an action to swap weapons. Are you trying to use the feature to pull the sword out? No. Okay. Um. Right. Uh, you can choose to spend one luck point. You gain a number of grand fighter. Get to the ground. Fire, fire. I could have swore I seen it. This is going to slow a slow a firearm, then draw another firearm as a thing. Okay, okay. I guess only for firearms. Okay. While he's um, looking at that, Milani, the picture is, of the gun he's using is in the the podcast campaign jet. What is it. what did you say? Swapping a weapon uh, entails. So unless it's a gun, uh huh, it's an action to swap to a weapon. Right, 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 right. Um, 
Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to swap to a slingshot. Okay. All right. So that is your action. Yep. yep. Okay. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it does look kind of funky. It's supposed to. Says the one that has an axe. Guitar. Yo, don't be hating on it, okay? Have you even used it yet? No. No. God. Okay. I wouldn't even know how. Um, to so is, is, is that is that all you're going to do for your turn? Five, is ten, swap to the slingshot? 20, 25 movement speed and my turn. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> the layer action. So the gate finally opens up. And. More. Three more. I pop get up. more friends. Three more pop up. And. I'm going to delete the ones that have X's on them from the turn order because they don't need them anymore. Because they did. Because they did. All right. So we're going to add these three to the turn order. Add, add, add. I'm going to roll for them. Nat one, a two, and a 19. So one of them will get a 17. And the other two have zero. Oof. All right. Alani, your turn. Yay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> If I use my axe thing, I can use it. Oh shit! I can use it on this thing, right? Uh, yeah. You can you can attack attack it with your axe, or you can use its uh, special abilities that it has to. Uh... Yeah. So the two abilities that you have for the uh, the war loot that you have have to do with giving other people advantages on things. So in order for you to do that, you're going to have to move closer to your party members. Okay. Or you can just attack it with the ax part or the crossbow part. And for those that are listening at home, she has a uh, loot that's half ax, half crossbow that has special abilities. So don't at me. <laughs> Magic. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> um, I guess. Well, so I can attack it with the axe. I can attack it with the axe and I can move or no. Yes. Yes. Okay. You can move. You can move your 30 feet and then swing your axe at it. Yes. But that's not the full. Wait. But that you, don't, you do not. Yeah. You do not have to move a full 30 feet. You can move how up to 30 feet. Right. So if you don't want to move the full 30, you can move five, you can move 10 feet, swing at it and then move back if you wanted to. Uh, OK. I'll do, do you want to do? All right. So move 10 feet up. That's like right here, right? That's it. That's 10 feet. Now you're going to roll 1d20 plus five to see if you hit with your axe. Let's go. 22. That's a hit. So now your damage is 1d8 plus 2. 9. Okay. It is on death's door. Okay, so then I can move back. Okay, so I'm going to tell you this now because your character technically can do this. You can also attack again with your axe. However... You saw before where that it has the chance to come back. Yeah. Yeah, screw it. We'll do it again. Let's go. Okay, so swing at it again. 1d20 plus 5. 16. That, that hits. Okay, so 1d8 plus 2. 2. 9. Okay, so now I have to roll a saving throw to see if I go back up to 1 or if I die, die. I die, die. Yee! I killed something. I'm rolling all of the nat ones tonight for whatever reason. All right. So that one is dead. Now you can move back if you would like. Okay. 
So that would be right here. Correct? Yep. Yeah. That's it. You did it. Yay! Be proud of me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Go on to the next turn. All right, this zombie is going to move here and end its turn. And then that zombie is dead, so I'm going to remove it from the turn order. All right. Let's see. That zombie is going to roll a perception check. It does see you. And it's going to move 5, 10, 15, 20. And then end its turn. And now we are at the Kitsune. She is going to move right there where Mouse Kurt was standing at. <laughs> and she is going to take a shot with Sacred Flame. Because it's 80 feet. And it's just under 80 feet. Uh, so, let's see if the deck saving throw... That time it succeeded, I think. Let me see the the saving throw for our good friend here. No. She has a saving throw of 15, and I rolled a 14. So I do deal damage to it. That is a 1. Okay. And... All right. That is her turn. I've got to fix these right quick. Okay. All right. And I need to move these zero ones down all the way to the bottom because uh, let's face it, they're 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 not very good at rolling initiatives. All right. This zombie is going to move. 5, 10, 15, 20, right there. End its turn. Mouse, your turn, buddy. Okay. I guess I'll take the shot at... Oh, wait, no, I have to... Uh... Wait. You have your slingshot equipped currently. That's right, that's right, that's right. So either you can go back to your gun and unjam it or shoot your slingshot. Nah, we're going we're gonna to do the same thing we did last time. I'm gonna okay. take the minus five penalty with the slingshot. See if we can do it. Wow, gotcha. Well, at least you won't jam this thing up. <laughs> exactly. All right, go ahead and do it. Fourteen. That hits, good sir. Let me see. Fourteen damage to it. Then come on, you can do it. Let's see. It's gonna be ten plus four. So it's one d. Uh, oh wait, no, one d four. It's one d four, and let's see if we can't get. Oh four yeah, the that. damage. It's one d four plus no, ten. No, no, plus ten. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really have to add the ten. I can just roll one d four and. Oh, hey, look at that! Fourteen. <laughs> there, you, there you go. Fourteen damage straight to that one. All let's right. do it. Let's do it again. <laughs> Let me adjust my rocks real quick. One it, less this, rock. This this mother. This motherfucker's on death's door. <laughs> 14 rocks left. Let's see. Do it again. A six definitely misses. I am one less rock. Uh, you rolled a six? Yeah, I missed. I know. Yeah, that, that missed. All Not good. by much, but it did miss. All good. All right. All right, layer action. You hear a very slight rumble coming from the north. We now go to Milani. More zombies. Um, I think I like where I'm at. Yeah, I know one sees me, but the hell with it. So I'll attack the one that sees me. Okay. Are you with, are you going to attack it with your axe or with crossbow? my axe? Oh wait. I forgot about my crossbow, so I don't have to move if I use my crossbow. You do not. You can actually move further away if you would like. Uh, yeah. I Can I move closer to this thing? Yeah. Yeah, okay. you can move as far away as you want. So I'll just move straight down. Okay. And attack it. So it's the same thing, right? It's the exact same thing. It's 1d20 plus 5 to see if you hit. 
but the damage is going to be different. Okay, so it's 19. That hits. So your damage is 1d6 plus 2. 1d6 plus 2. 4. Got it. Uh, Awesome. All right. So would you like to attack again with your crossbow? Yes. Awesome. Go ahead and make your shot. 20. That hits. Five. Awesome. It's looking pretty hurt. All right. You've got one shot left on your crossbow before you have... No, that was two shots. You've got three shots left on your crossbow before you have to reload. Okay. Because the way that yours works is it's unlike most crossbows where you had to just you shoot once and then reload, reload. shoot once and re- reload. This one has like that container that's it at the hilt that you just reload the container and it has five shots in it. Cool All right. So that was your turn. We now go to the very confused zombie who thinks that thunder is still clapping in all sorts of ways. <laughs> uh, it does see you. It is going to go 5, 10, 15, 20 and start heading in your direction. Then we go down to these other zombies at the bottom. 5, 10, 15, 20. Go to the next zombie. 5, 10, 15, 20. Go to Hurt Zombie. Hurt Zombie. It is going to go the full 5, 10, 15, 20 right to your face. It is going to attack you. Broseph, <clears throat> your breast stank. And I've got to find this. For whatever reason, the stats. Oh, there it is. Okay. 1d20 plus 3. Uh, 15 to hit you. So let's see what your AC is. I miss. Yeah. Your armor class is 16. So I do not hit you. And I only get the one attack. So that turn is done. Kitsune. We go, we go to the Kitsune. She is going to use Sacred Flame on the guy back here. Deck saving throw. Uh, fucking three. Fuck. I forgot to run in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Three. All right. She dealt the damage, and that is her turn. Next up, that zombie. He's going to make a strength saving throw to see if he can climb up and get to Mouse. He does... He actually does, surprisingly enough. Oof. What's their what's their um what's their movement speed? Uh their movement speed is 20. So he's basically get, gonna be halfway up the ladder. He's not gonna be able to attack you. He has to make a strength saving throw every time that he climbs up the ladder, and that goes for all of them. So he did manage to get up on the ladder, and he's halfway right. up the ladder now. So he will not be able to hit you this turn. 20. No, he's not halfway. It's 50, it's 50 it we're 50 feet up in the air. Well, he used a dash action, though. Oh, so that is... Yeah, yeah so, he, so he has to use a dash action in order to climb up the to ladder. get to the ladder. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that's that one's turn. Mouse, it is your turn, technically, oh. and you can hit it uh, yes. with your distance. Oh, shit, I'm, I'm using the wrong thing. Whoops. Uh, I'm going to shoot this one. Okay. Um, same con, same thing we were doing before. Yep. 15. That hits. D4. Total of 12. Okay. Uh, it has to roll a saving throw to see if it goes back up to 1 HP. And even if it does save, it will fall back to the ground. Uh, it does succeed. It is back on the ground. How far up was it? It was about, uh, again, halfway up the so ladder. 25 feet. So roughly. about 25 feet roughly up the ladder. So it falls back down onto the ground level. <laughs> That's 2d6 of damage, right? Uh, it is 1d6 of damage. No, it's but... t- one, one die. 1d6 for every 10 feet up it falls. Is that not how that works? <laughs> My Lanta 
<laughs> I'm not, yes, just because right. uh, mm -hmm. I looked it up earlier because I was going to see if I could barrel roll off of this thing if I had to. I already looked it up. Oh my land! Yep, uh, he, he's <laughs> right. It's one d six for every fall or for, for every, every ten, 10 feet. feet. Yeah. So it's going to take the damage, but it'll have to make another saving throw to see if it goes back up to one HP. And then it goes prone as well if it takes damage. Uh, it will for sure. Yeah. It will for sure. Uh, roll again. It did save, so it's back up to one, but it is prone. <laughs> so this it's pretty can, much you can get advantage. You can get advantage on this one right here, just so you know, because it's prone. <laughs> Yeah, you get advantage on this one, the one that fell off the ladder. It is prone. However, again, it's one of those situations that unless you deal a certain type of damage to it or crit, you basically it's basically going to get a saving throw each of its times that it dies to see if it goes back up to one HP. All right? Mm -hmm. So that one's that one's turn. Layer action. You hear the rumble start to get louder coming from the north. Milani. Your turn. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack Stink Breath with my axe. Alrighty. Twenty one. That hits. Six. Okay. It is on death's door. Again. You can attack again as well. Yeah, I'm gonna do it again. Awesome. Because Stink Breath needs to get out my face. Sixteen. That hits. Five. Yep, it has to roll a saving throw. It succeeds. It is at 1 HP. Damn it, he's still up in my grill. Mm. You can move. True. Yeah, okay. Fuck, I forgot wait. to go in a circle again. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. So, wait, I you said I can move 30? You can move 30 feet, yes. Up to 30 feet. You don't have to move the full 30 if you don't want to, but you can move um, up to 30 feet. Okay. So I'll move here. Okay. What the? Okay, that works, yeah. Alrighty. This one is going to move 5, 10, 15, 20. It's going to go to dash to the ladder, roll a strength check. It fails, so it cannot get up the ladder. Next one. This one's going to do the same thing. It succeeds and gets halfway up the ladder. So I'm going to move that one out of the way. So this one in front of you, Mouse, is halfway up the ladder. The other the other one is prone, and the one to the left is the one that failed on trying to get up the ladder. All right. So then we've got 5, 10, 15. No, I can't do that. Hold up. 5, 10. 15, 20. There we go. Okay. Got it. All right. Make an attack. I critically fail again. And Kitsune, she is going to use Sacred Flame on the one on the ladder. Um, rolls the deck saving throw with disadvantage. It rolled a nat one. So uh, because it's on the ladder and because of the type of damage, I am going to double the damage for this. So 2d8. Uh, that is a seven and a six. All right. Teen. Okay. And then it's going to take 2d6 fall damage. Uh, it, it, I just rolled double sixes. I wish I had that kind of roll at fucking Las Vegas. Like, shit. <laughs> uh, critically failed, so it is dead. All right. That one is dead. All right. Uh, that is her turn. All right. The one that is prone is next. It is going to roll to see if it gets out of being prone, and it is not good at strength checks, so that's good news. I rolled another fucking nat one. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> uh, mouse. Okay, this is what we're going to do now. Oh shit, this one died? Yeah, yeah. it Jesus, Yeah, so where do you go? <laughs> I'm reading my stuff. I'm like on my character sheet reading all my stats and shit. I'm trying to figure out my next move. I can move. read it still here. <laughs> Damn. I swear the Kitsune's attacks are like completely oblivious to me. Like I don't even see them happen. <laughs> anyway, I got to hear yours. You. 
I hear yours, but I never hear Tony's because I always think when he's talking, he's talking about the the enemies. So I, I I'm like like just kind of half listening to what he's saying. Well, I mean, you also don't know who's standing next to you because you don't want to learn her damn name. That's also true. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm going to uh, I'm going to do the same shot to this one as before. Sure. So I'm gonna take the minus five roll, uh, and. I guess I'll roll again to see if I get a crit because I'm I'm 16 will hit. 16 uh, definitely will it is hit, it yes. is prone. It's prone, right? Still? It is prone and you do get advantage, yes. Okay, the 16 is a hit. <laughs> yes. So, we roll the 1d4, 14 damage. All right. It's got to make a saving throw. It succeeds, so it's at 1 HP, but it is still prone. It, <laughs> it is still likes prone. to be it just likes to be in I'm going to score, shoot apparently. this one now. Let me okay. adjust my rocks real quick. Okay, well, no shit, fuck. Uh huh. Save. All right, and let's see if we can get that one. Nine. Uh, funny enough, that just hits. Oh, wow. Nine. Sweet. 1d4. Another four, so that's 14 damage. Okay. Um, Your slingshot is like beast right now. Only because of that ability. It's obvious. Yeah, he has an ability to where that he takes a penalty to his to see if he hits, but he yeah. gets plus ten to his damage. Yeah, so uh because I get plus five to both of the, to the slingshot as far as attack bonus, if um if I take that away, I just roll a normal D twenty. And if I roll yeah. high enough I can deal I, I hit. And the only damage it does is one D four. So <laughs> this is actually really good for a slingshot. <laughs> I was really surprised about that. One, two, that's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and my turn. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Layer action. Uh, the gate finally fully opens for the north. And yay, more friends. Three more pop out. And I'm going to add them to the turn order as soon as I get back to the right screen. Nat one, Nat one, a fucking two. So they all got zero. It's fine. Yeah. I, I I don't need to have nice things in life. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Milani, your turn. Okay, so apparently Stank Breath likes to stalk me. Stank Breath, really? <laughs> stank, stank, stank. stank Breath. It's not stink breath. It's stank breath. Okay. So I said stank breath. Stank breath. So I'm gonna move <sighs> diagonally. It's the same distance. Diagonally, breath. it's the same. Yes, it's five okay. feet. Yes. So I'll I'll move to the ladder, but I'm gonna okay. hit him with my crossbow. All right. If you hit, you deal the one damage all automatically, so. Okay. 12. Okay. So you did hit that one, right? Or did you Correct. hit this one? Okay. No. All right. So it's going to roll a saving throw to see if it survives. Uh, it does not. So that one is dead. Yay. Sank Breath is dead. Okay. So now I'll I'll do the same thing, but to prone. Okay, you get advantage for this one, so you roll twice and take the higher number. Okay. 19. Okay, so you uh, definitely hit, so go ahead and roll your damage for the crossbow, uh, and it's 1d6 plus 2. 7. Yeah, all right, so I have to roll to see if I save. I do not. The prone guy is dead. Yes! I took out 2. Okay. All right. That one is going to go 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, that one is going to try to go up the ladder again. Well, strength check. Uh, it succeeds that time. It is halfway up the ladder. And... 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20. 
one, two, three. That one is dead, so take it out of the turn order. It's the Kitsune's turn. She is going to take a shot at the one on the ladder with Sacred Flame. Roll a deck saving throw with disadvantage because he's on a ladder. And that is a three, so that is a fail. 1d8, that is an eight. Is that that? And then it will take the 2d6. It is that. Then roll to see if I save. I do not. That zombie is dead. Uh, take that one out of the turn order. Mouse, it's your turn. You've got one zombie near Eight. you, and then you got three coming up from the north. 10, 15, 20, 25. <laughs> okay. So don't forget. I'm going to move before I forget. I'm going to take a shot at that one. Okay. Go for it. Mm, 1d20. An 8. I'm guessing that misses. Uh, Yes. Uh, try again. Yes, sir. Three. That's got to hit this time. Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let me adjust my rocks. All right, so that is your turn. All right, lair action. You hear a l extremely loud rumble coming from the bridge. Oh, the hole. I forgot all about the hole. You mustn't ever forget about the hole. Apparently. Okay. Then we go to Milani. Okay. So I, I I remembered how many things I have. I'm going to use uh, what is that thing called again? Sacred Flame. Sacred Flame. All right. Yes, sir. All right. So let me get that adjusted. Oh my god. <laughs> Rolled another nat fucking one. Uh, okay, like apparently I'm just not going to succeed tonight. So double your damage. Do two d eight because I'm just okay. I weakened it with my rocks. <laughs> Team. That's that's yeah sure one. <laughs> weakened it with my rocks. All right. Oh my god. I've created rough terrain with the amount of misses <laughs> I've had. So stupid. <laughs> it's a very gravelly road. Apparently. And a struggle. <laughs> Apparently. So let me just paint the picture for you. It's it is this is it right here. <laughs> it, it must cross that. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and I missed the rocks literally just shattered into little <laughs> smaller sharp pieces. Like Jesus guy. Um, okay, so that was your turn. Unless you wanted to go up the ladder and be up on the tower. Uh nah. I stay down. Okay. All right. The zombie is gonna go right to your face then and try to attack you. It does not succeed. Fuck this shit. Okay. <laughs> did you did you take into account the sharp drain that it had to cross? <laughs> I did. I did, you fucking asshole. Good. Good. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. I feel like that should five, be a thing. 10, like if 15, you, uh, 20. It's if not you a thing. I feel like it should. Like, like if you not, shoot, you it's have not. to roll I'm to not, see if you like, overshoot or if you undershoot. <laughs> bitch, I have rolled almost 15 <laughs> bad woods tonight. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> lying on the ground there. I undershot it, you know, with a three. Like, like I rolled 15 fucking that ones. So you can go fuck off. <laughs> I don't want to hear I don't want to hear your rough terrain. My rolls bullshit. have been pretty mediocre tonight, too. Like, honestly. Alright, the kid soon's gonna go. She's gonna cast Sacred Flame on that fucking zombie. Uh Average. it 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 actually passed some fucking hell so it takes no damage and she is going to pass her turn mouse it's your turn um 5 10 15 20 25 take shot oh this one yep <clears throat> my normal roll 12 i know that hits that does hit yes sir 14 damage okay uh, it's got to make a save. Adjust my rocks. It fails. It's dead. <laughs> yes. All right. Another okay. to the list. You technically can hit this one. Huh? 
you, you. technically can also hit that one. Why? You What's have two attacks. The other two. What's wrong with the other two? They're all dead. Uh, th- these two are too far away for the slingshot. I believe. I believe. Oh, I don't. I don't remember what the range is on a slingshot. It's sixty feet. I think. Let me look. Give yeah, me some, I was say, this will uh, give me sling. Well, on. Uh, well, it gives me some um, search stuff for for being because I'm using that right now. So for game pass, plug that in. Even though we're not, <laughs> don't plug it in. Uh, what was it? Slingshot <laughs> range. D five E slingshot range. Um, uh, slingshot five E equipment thirty. 30. 30. Can I even reach that then? Hold on. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm. It's funny how your makeshift rocks on the map actually look like rocks. <laughs> I mean, they're gray, so. <laughs> I'm going uh, to gonna have to collect them after. I have to collect rocks mm-hmm. after I get uh, out of this. So I have to roll. Tony always makes me roll to see how many rocks I find. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to make you roll to find more rocks now. So no, wait, you, oh, you as, did that last time. That's what I'm saying. As, you always, taking, you make me roll. as he's taking his <clears throat> turn, can I reload? No. No, no uh, on oh, your wait. on your turn you can. Yes. Okay. Can okay, okay, okay. I thought I rolled the wrong one. I got a 6. You miss. Uh on your next turn I'm going to make you look for another rock. <laughs> no, I have rocks. I I'm keeping track. I've got them in my inventory. Oh, do you? Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm talking about okay. after combat. You always make me. You always make yeah. me fucking yeah. roll to see how many okay. I find. I didn't know how many you had on you. No, so I'm that... keeping track. Okay. Uh, I got my inventory all. All right. Yeah. Layer action. Uh, <laughs> I need all three of us to make dexterity saving throws, and that also will go for the zombies. <clears throat> uh, pass for the kit soon. A fail for the zombie. A nat Damn. 20 for a zombie and a fail for the zombie. So one zombie passes and two fail. Rip. I think I'm going to start investing into this slingshot a little bit more, Tony. Uh, I mean, you do you, boo. Like, I like it, bro. I like it. <laughs> you do you, boo. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right. I'm... 19 for yeah. Milani. Okay. I was about um, to say I passed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you passed. Uh, uh, mouse, roll a deck saving throw to see if you pass or fail for this um, later this? action. Well, oh, it's something going on. Okay. Yes, um, it's coming from the center of the... the it's coming yeah, from yeah. the hole. You said dexterity? Yes, sir. Just a second. Saving throw? <clears throat> yes, sir. Oh, uh, wait. 13? I did that wrong. Hold on. Did you? Yes. That's what it was. Okay, you still pass, regardless. <laughs> uh, mouse actually fails. Oh, man. <laughs> so, Mouse, you're going to take 5d6 worth of damage, because you're 50 feet up. I swear to fucking Jesus. I rolled all ones. <laughs> Ooh, <fuck> damage. <laughs> hey, can I uh can I also do a uh you, you, I'm falling, right? You're falling, yes. But um can I do can I roll an acrobatic to see if I can do a barrel roll for no damage? I, I, no, because no? if I if I did the damage for the zombies, then I'm gonna do the damage for you. Oh. oh wait, zombies? Zombies had to yeah. fall damage? Yeah, the, t- the zombies took oh, fall you mean, damage. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you mean like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're taking the fall damage, the 5d6, because <clears throat> you're 50 feet up, the, up in the air. Gotcha, but, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, put your character down on ground level down here. And uh, you took five damage <sighs> from the fall. You lucky oh, son of a bitch. Uh, mm-hmm. But the ground starts to shake a lot. And it's coming. Uh, the source is coming from the pit, the the abyss from the center yeah. of the arena. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Sweet. Sweet. That was the lair action, Milani. <clears throat> it's your turn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. So let's see. This this one was thirty. Uh-huh. Oh no. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right. Thirty. <laughs> Which one? This one. Are you gonna? Shit. 
This one. Are you pinging that one? Yes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. No, it's 35 feet, but you can move the 30 feet and still be able to hit it if you want to do it in melee range. Go! Uh, Melee! No! Or you can cast spells. It's (laughs) either or. Um, but I only have one shot left on my thing before I have to reload. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll do it. Are you do- are doing a melee attack, or are you doing a spell, or are you taking a shot? Um, wait, so I can be 30 feet and still do the melee with the axe? Yeah, because it, it's, uh, melee is 5 feet, so because the zombie will be 5 feet away from you, you can swing your axe at it, so yes. So I'm moving here. So you, yeah, you move here. 30 feet here, yeah, and then you can attack it. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my axe. Okay. This one? Eight. Boo. Nope. Nope. You miss. You can attack again, though. Okay. Twelve! That hits. So roll your damage. One D8 plus two. D8 plus two. Okay. Ten! Ten. All right. It's looking pretty hurt. All right. That is your turn. That zombie is dead. The zombie in front of you is next. It's going to attack you and hopefully hit you. Uh, It does hit you that time. I finally get to attack for once. Yay. (laughs) Uh, And the damage is bullshit. Fuck this shit. Uh, although I did max out. So you'll take seven damage, Milani. Yay! I will. <laughs> you take seven damage, and that's the most it can do. <laughs> so, okay, wait. So now, with that, where do I see that <clears throat> on my sheet? Okay, your HP is right below where the initiative is at. Oh, Okay. So you have a section that says your current maximum hit points, which is 52 for you. Underneath it, there's a blank space that says current hit points. That's where you can put how much HP you currently have after taking damage. So you can change that. Okay. So you took 7 damage from 52. So you can put the the equal amount in the current hit point section. All right. Okay. That is that zombie's turn. This one is going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, and then attack you from there. It hits. You take two damage. Yay. And then this zombie is going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, right there. All right. Miss Kitsoon, she is going to uh Do I want to cast a spell now or do I want to wait? No, I'm going to Actually no. No, 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 no. I'm going to cast Firebolt cuz that's a cantrip. And I could catch these zombies on fire and kill them both in one hit. All right. That is barely a hit on that one. Now to see how much damage I do is the question. 1d10. Okay. So it takes four damage. But I have to roll to see if it catches on fire. Got to take off the hit points. Okay. Roll to see if it catches on fire. It does. So it will take 1d6 points of fire damage on each of its turns. And I have to roll to see if the fire will spread over to its zombie friend on its turn. Awesome. Mouse, it's your turn. All right, give me a second. <laughs> All right. Um, what was that giggle for? Oh, okay. From what you that, just right? posted. 
Uh, let's see. All right. Ooh, ooh, this is looking troublesome over here. Oh, man. It's over here. Looks very troublesome. Uh, f f let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, horrible, 20, horrible. 25. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Serpentine pattern. Hara, hara, oh, hara. Jesus. <laughs> Ta-da! Then, on my way of doing oh that, Tony, God. can I roll and to see if I pick, did see it. And pick up any rocks for a bonus action? Uh, I will do it as a free action. Free, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Do I roll a d20, normal d20? What do I you roll? You will roll a 1d20 plus... I'm going to make you roll... I'm going to make you either roll perception or nature. One oh, two. sweet. Smoke weed every day. Uh, 14. Uh, I will say, I will say that you find four pebbles. <clears throat> four. <laughs> four. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Four rocks. <laughs> Boom. Let's save that. All right. Take and I'm going to. Well, what's the health on both of these? Do we know? This one is on go death's down? door. This one is fully healthy. Okay, so this one hasn't gone down once yet. This one right here. No, it has not gone down once. Okay, yet, that's what I was trying it, to figure it, out. It is Fine. on death's door, though. Right, right. Um, <clears throat> let's see. We're going to aim, take some aims, take some aims, and we're going to row four, three. Son of a bitch. Ah. Uh, you okay. miss. So one would less, you like to shoot again? One less rock. Nine rocks left. Save. Next shot. A ten. That hits. Aha. Uh -huh. And a d4. <laughs> Fourteen damage. All right. Roll to see if I... I do one not succeed. Shot. This one is dead, Eight. and the fire will not spread. Oh, it was on fire. It was on fire. Whoops. Yes, sir. Ah. Uh, yeah. The oh, kid soon lit it, was, lit it on, on fire. fire. But then I now 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 I remember he did say. Maybe one, if you were paying attention, I'm health, just kidding. So. All right. No, it now, lit that one on fire. The layer action. <laughs> Milani and Mouse, you definitely will get impacted by this as a disadvantage. Uh, the Kitsune, the Kitsune will not because she is further away than the rest of you. So, Milani and Mouse, I need each of yeah. you to roll dexterity saving throws with disadvantage. And the zombie will also roll it. Both of them will. So, at disadvantage. Uh, Mouse got an 11. You got to roll again to see and take the lower number. Yeah. A disadvantage. Disadvantage. Woo! 23. Okay. All right. So Mouse and Milani, both of you Damn. fail and you will be prone on your next turn. Nine. Uh The kids soon <laughs> did pass and both zombies failed, but both zombies are on the edge. So they will fall into the, the they will fall into the pit and they will die. <clears throat> oh, However... Yes, you do. And let me Yay. get to that as soon as I mark these Now we off. have to deal with whatever's coming out. Of those. And you, you see coming out of the ground, the bridge is destroyed. It's Shall completely we? gone. <laughs> However, this, this thing appears. For those at home that would like to know a brief description oh, Jesus, of what they currently see... It is a half snake, half spider. It is zombified, and it pokes its head out and sees Mouse and Milani. And oh, uh, how lovely and cute! Nature's so I great. Know. I know, right? So glad we had this conversation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, so I better. Oh, roll I have to zoom in on I'm this glad. real quick. <laughs> Man, that's ugly. 
Oh, I can't tell if it's hairy uh, or if it's scaly or both. <laughs> it is both. It is both, uh, and it is also a zombie. <laughs> it has fangs for both. Both it's, species. It is also a zombie. It has fangs yes. for both species. Oh, Wait, God. Wait, it's Zoom a zombie? It. Look at its face. Oh, God. Oh, what? God. Oh. <laughs> All right. So. I'm not it is doing going, that. I it, can see it just fine. But yes, it is From a zombie mouth. Wait, no, you know what I am going to do? Because I want to see these two at fangs. At the tip where the snake would normally have its fangs. Out. It has it right there, too. Yeah. But yes, for those that are oh, listening, it is a yeah, zombie fod, half spider, yeah. half snake. I and it is uh, grotesque in all shapes and forms of every form of fashion. Uh, it is Milani's turn, and you are prone, so you are it's going to have color, to roll though. a saving throw, a strength saving throw, to see if you can get out of being prone. If you do, then great, but that is your turn. If you do not, you're going to have to keep doing this until you finally do succeed. You do manage to get up, but that is your turn. Okay. <laughs> oh, funny. Up. All right, it is the Kitsune's turn. She I'm is now <laughs> going to start casting her high level spells now that she has seen this motherfucker. Uh right. she is going to cast uh let's see. I can cast up to fourth level spells. All right, so let's see what this spell does. Uh no, I do not want to use I that. I need to look and see mine now. Uh, okay, I am going to use this spell. I'm going to cast Phantasmal Killer oh. on the uh, spider. So the uh, the spider thing has to make a wisdom saving throw. It doesn't even have a name for it. It just calls it the spider, spider thing. thing. I, I, do, <laughs> I, I do have a name for it, but I'm not giving the name out. Fucking asshole. <laughs> the spider thing. Spider Great. thing. Welcome to the D&D session. Y'all are fighting a spider thing. You're fighting a spider thing. It technically... It's technically called a giant spider snake. <laughs> this is a abomination. That's the technical term for it. It's that, an abomination. That's Look, literally also correct. It's it an abomination. It's it pointless to have the legs because it is literally lifting. They're just the legs la- they're just da- right. well. No, I mean it could be using those to pull it instead of. Shut the using fuck it up. Stuff. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> he may not know that. <laughs> that's that's how it got up the. Hole in the ground, just saying. Okay, no, it slithered. So, slithered up the hole. <laughs> all right, so it did fail by one point. So, the snake is afraid of Miss Kitsune, and on each of its turns, it is going to take four, 40 10 points of psychic damage, but it, but it does get to roll again at the end of each of its turns. And I am doing this as a concentration spell, so I will not be able to cast any more spells for as long as it's under this effect. Or if I take damage, I have to also see if I can keep up the spell. But it will take 40, 10 points of damage on each of its turns, at, at the end of each of its turns. All right. That is her turn. It is now the giant spider snake's turn. Oh, now it's a giant spider snake? That's literally what it's called. Oh That's literally what it's called. <laughs> it is nah. going to shoot a poisonous web at the two of you because you're in a straight line, technically. So, what I need each of you to do is make a dexterity saving throw to see if you can avoid getting hit. And if you do get hit, then you have to make a strength saving throw to see if you are going to be restrained. So, Milani and Mouse, if you would. I think she stepped away for a second. But I rolled a 16. Okay. Do I succeed? You do succeed, good sir. So you will not get hit. Aha! Do I have to move in any direction or? No. No. Okay. I rolled out of the way, rolled back in the way. Yes, basically. (laughs) Either that or you're just so tiny that it just, like, bypassed you. I got really skinny. (laughs) 
<laughs> it's it's le- like like laid like long ways along the ground, like as low as I could. Right. I exhaled so that my lungs didn't have any oxygen in them, and it just became completely flat. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I kicked, I kicked into my animal instincts as a mouse. Uh, as I was doing that, Tony, can I roll for some more rocks? Uh, it is not your turn, good sir. So no, you cannot. You cannot. But I'm so close to the ground. Can you at least tell me if I see any? No, no. You see a thorn and you step on it. You take one point of fucking thorn damage. <laughs> I pluck that thorn out and I put, I hold on to it because it's going to be used in my next attack. Wait, was that legit cannon? Do I have to do no, one? No, no, <laughs> no. No oh, shit. Uh, I'm gonna. Okay. Hi, uh... I need you to make me a um, dexterity saving throw. And then I need you to, if you fail the dex saving throw, I need you to make me a strength saving throw. Okay, dex was plus six. Jesus, what happened? Wait, what? Uh, What's going on? I don't know what's happening. If you can't roll it and roll 20, you can roll it in the, uh, the podcast campaign chat. Aha! Okay. There you go. Uh, so I- you rolled a nat one plus six. So you for sure are going to get captured. And because you rolled a nat one, you're going to automatically fail the strength saving throw. So with that, you are now restrained and you are going to take poison damage on each of your turns. And you do not get to make a save to get out. So the only way you're going to be able to get out is if Mouse comes and gets you out. Really? All right. I'm left to him. You are left to him. I guess I won't help you then. Oh, Uh, you rude. (laughs) Oh, now uh, my freaking roll 20 wants to roll freaking work. There you go. All right. That is the spider's turn because it can only do one, that action once, so it is not going to move. Mouse, it's your turn, so you can either uh, help Milani get out of being restrained. Let's of- do that. All right, so I need you to make a uh, nature or survival roll to see if you can get her out. Six for survival. Uh, you do not. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, man. It sucks to be you. What, what What? was that, an action? That was an action, good sir. Roll five. Ten. Oh, wow. I can move those. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Okay. All right. There are no more layer actions, so... Alani. Uh, we have to skip your turn. All right. So Kitsune uh, notices that you are restrained. It, she is going to. S- let me see if I can cast any spells to help you out. Oh, I forgot to roll the 4d10. Let me do that right quick before I. Oh, it's on your turn? I thought it was on the spider snake. It is turn. on the spider's turn. I forgot to roll for it, so I'm going to roll for it now. Uh, that's an, that's double eight, so that's already 16. Takes 22 damage. What kind of damage is that? It is psychic. Dang. It it It's pretty hurt. It It didn't like that at all. Uh, it's, I can't actually do anything because that's a concentration. So she is going to keep up the concentration and pass her turn. So it is the giant spider snake's turn. The giant spider snake is going to take a bite at mouse. 14 to hit. That misses. Awesome. All right. That is its first bite it can do a bite once more 
Uh, exact same roll. All right. So it tries to bite bite at you twice and it misses. So that I is just, its turn. I'm just too nimble for you, you <laughs> giant <laughs> swim. <laughs> too nimble. It, it is your turn, Mouse. Freak. All right. So uh, I'm going to help her again. Okay. Nature or survival? Uh, survival because nature is shit. 12. That time you do succeed. So you Sweet. cut you cut her out of the webbing uh -huh. and she will not take damage on her turn. Sweet. Um uh, so you got a movement left. Uh 5 10 15 20 20 but can you you know what? I'm going to go right here. 25 up. Okay. Going going in an like a kind of a zigzag go up. So right here, right here, and then I cut across, and then up. Again. Sure, sure. No. All right, Milani, it's your turn. You are technically still, uh, you're not prone. I take that I'm back. I'm not prone, yeah. You're not prone. You were just restrained. So you've got your full turn back. So you can do whatever you want on this turn. Yee, okay, wait. Thank so you, now Mouth. Is, thank you, Mouth. Anyway, um, so question, can I move and then do a spell or no? Yes. Yay! Okay. <laughs> I have a question. I have a question. The way that this thing is on this historical, it might not mean anything, but is it literally the size of the hole? Like it's yes. like just sticking out, you know, like this. It's like it's giant. It, it's a so, so the hole is covered, is filled up with this snake, and it's just sticking out its head and its legs. It's and sticking out its like it's got its like the spider legs sticking out of the hole, and it's propping itself up, and its head is sticking out. So the oh, other half of its picture you've painted for us. Ugh. So the other half of its Damn. body is still in the hole. Well, fuck! If I knew you were gonna move that far away, I would have moved far away too. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> I stayed with you. I was like all fucking around with my movement because I thought you were gonna stay close to it. Like son of a bitch! Fine. Well, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Damn! I was looking at one earlier. You see what you did? You fucked me because I forgot which one it was. <sighs> Oh, no, I shouldn't have moved. Fuck my life. Oh, man. Didn't Can I take that back? <laughs> I will allow you to take it back because you didn't necessarily know. So. Okay. So I take that back. Do over um, reverse time. I'm close. So I'm close enough to touch it. Correct. Uh, if you move one. Why you would you actually, want to touch actually, it? Actually, yes, you can swing at its legs, technically, so yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Bestow Curse. Okay. All right. So Bestow Curse. Oh, my God, she's going to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> You touch a creature, gonna, and that creature must gonna, succeed on a wisdom saving throw or become cursed for the duration of the spell. When you cast the spell, choose the nature of the curse from the following options. Choose one ability score while cursed. The target has disadvantage on ability checks and saving throws made with ability score while cursed. The target has disadvantage on attack rolls against you while cursed. The target must make a wisdom saving throw at the start of each of its turns. If it fails, it wastes an action that turn doing nothing. While the target is cursed, your attack and spell da uh, deals an extra 1d8 necrotic damage to the target and remove Move curse spell ends this effect at the GM's option. You may choose an alternative curse effect, but it should be no powerful than those described above. The GM has final decisions. Got it. Wisdom saving throw. <laughs> you finished reading your narrative. I <laughs> That's how long it was. Oh, right. really? Okay. So because of the last bit where it says I have the final decision on the end of it, I rolled a nat one, so choose two choose two. okay so uh we will do wild curse the target must make a wisdom saving throw at the start of each turn if it fails it wastes action that turn doing nothing Got gotcha um and we will do how long um, is it curse for target has disadvantage on ability checks and saving throws made with the ability to that ability score 
Okay, so I my I have disadvantage on ab- ability scores and saving throws, and I have to roll a wisdom saving throw to see if I can do anything for my actions. So I have disadvantage on that as well. Fantastic. <laughs> the snake become limp. Uh, all right, so uh, it lasts for a minute, and it's a concentration spell. Oh, that's 10 turns, boy. So that's 10, 10 rounds. Tur- so you have 10 rounds to wail on this thing. All right, cool. Fantastic. That Yay! is that is you unless you want to move. Do you want to move? Um let's see. I'll just move back a little bit. Okay. All right. Uh Kitsune is going to keep up her concentration on the spell and not do anything. Uh it is the giant spider snake. It is going to roll its saving throw with disadvantage. Uh, that's a pass on the first one. That is a two on the second one. So it fails. Uh, it can't do anything this turn. Yay! Mouse, your turn. <laughs> awesome. Mouse, your turn. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, shit. I forgot to roll the 4d10. Go ahead and keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to roll the 4d10. It's on death's door. Uh, really? Huh? What's up? It's on. It's on death's door. Oh, oh, it's such a Cause, shame. Because of the psychic damage. Uh, um, I'm going to hit it with another rock. Well, or not another. I haven't hit it with a rock yet. I'm going to hit it with a rock. Sure. I'm going to hit it with a rock. <laughs> you critically fail. Your slingshot snaps in half. Oh. Shit. Well, fuck. <laughs> Throw the rock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is that? D twenty. That Plus roll it. You have to make a uh a, a, a strength check. Yes. <laughs> well, I strength uh strength check that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Eight. <laughs> uh, you miss. You throw the rock, and it just like it, you're you have tiny arms, <laughs> so you're just like eh, eh. it like hit right here. <laughs> Five, two, three, you also create tough r- terrain for yourself so uh yeah there's uh, that move this way i'm out <laughs> sure i'm out, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> all right milani it's your turn i uh, would like have... to use action surge i have oh, one shot left wait he did okay he said he wants to use action surge so i'm gonna okay. put put you back on the turn order mouse so you can use action surge. However, if you go to your gun, you're going to have to re-equip it yeah. first. And then on your next turn, you're going to have to unjam it. Right, 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 right. So you have All to right. spend an action equipping your weapon. Yep, yep. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. All right, Milani, it is your turn. You have a spell that's called uh, considered concentration. So here's how that works. If you're ca- if you're using a spell that has concentration, if you go and cast another spell, it cancels out the one that you currently cast that's con- you're concentrating on. And also, if I believe you can make a normal attack, uh, concentration spells five e. I want to make sure because I don't want to tell you that and I'd be wrong. Okay, you can move and you can attack with just a normal attack with your axe or crossbow. However, you cannot cast another spell unless you want to cancel the concentration spell of Bestow Curse. Well, I was going to attack with my crossbow because I have okay. one shot left. You can do that. So, What was it again? I forgot. 1d20 plus 5 to hit, and then the damage is 1d6 plus 2. Okay. So 20. That hits. Eight. Okay. Uh, it is still alive, but like it's, I'm, I'm telling you like, it's quite literally got its fucking legs and face rubbing up against death's door and it's petting it. Like he's caressing that fucking door. <laughs> okay. All so right. I'm going to move back. And what do I have to do to uh, reload? 
you would have to spend an action technically to reload because uh, you don't have any special features like mouse does to reload as a bonus action. So you can use your second attack technically to reload, but you will, that's it. That will be all you can do. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Okay. All right. We'll do that. All right. So that's your turn. The kit soon is going to shoot an arrow at the spider and see if it will kill it once and for all. It miss. She misses. She'll attack again. And she misses. All right, but she's wow. going to keep the co- she's going to keep the concentration up on the spell. All right, wisdom saving throw. That is a fail, and a fail. Yeah. Awesome. Forty ten. I want to do this now. All right. So it's down to zero HP. However, because it's a zombie. It has the same it's ability the zombies do. Yeah. It does pass, so it is at yeah. 1 HP. Okay. It is at 1 HP, but it cannot do anything. Mouse, your turn. Gotcha. Give me just a moment. That was 1 HP. It's doing that zombie bullshit. Yeah. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to take a shot. Uh, you had to unjam your gun first. Oh, I thought I did that. During no. my my no, I did that last turn because I had a uh, action surge. No, no, you equipped no? your gun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, is that you, what that was? Oh, yeah, you have okay, to okay. use your action to equip the gun. Oh, that's right, because I, I attacked first with uh yes with the broken yeah yep. broke it. All right, all right, 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 right. Yeah. What do I roll? You had to roll a sleight of hand or a. No, it's just sleight of hand. I'm sorry. Just sleight of hand. 11? Uh, you do unjam it. You beat the Ooh, over okay. the 10. So it's unjammed, but that's all you can do this turn. You cannot shoot sweet, with sweet. it. I all will. Right. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'll stand in front. Okay. Got it. Awesome. Milani, it's your turn. All right. Shoot it with my crossbow again. Sure. All right. Just hit it, and then it will make the save. 22. Okay. Uh, it passed. It's back up to 1 HP. <sighs> I'm going to hit it again. All right. 19. It failed. It is dead. Let's go. All right. So, you see the snake spider thing collapse through back through the hole and fall through. Never to be seen again. However, you suddenly hear a voice as if it was being overcast through the entire arena. It's your father, Mouse. He says, well done. However, I have one final thing for you to try. One last enemy. Let's see how you do against this. And you see on the north side of the arena, you see an arcane circle suddenly appear. Within the arcane circle, you see what looks to be like a summoning ritual. Out of that ritual comes a zombified beholder. It is a floating giant ball with ragged teeth and a one very large massive eye and it has tentacles for hands and it's just floating suspended in air but it's also zombified so then you hear your father say over the arena and say This will be one of your greatest challenges yet. I hope you survive. Fuck you, dad. (laughs) (laughs) And that's actually where we're going to end the session. So guys that are listening, thank you guys so much for uh, listening to and on this episode. 
I wanted this episode to be like a complete bloodbath and then the next one to be like their technical boss fight. So the spider snake thing was kind of like the distraction to make them think that was the boss fight. But in reality, this big dude, this beholder is the actual boss. So we're going to see how well they do against it on the next session and uh, see what happens to our players from there. But uh, thank you guys so much for listening in. We'll see you in the next episode. Peace out. And uh, would you guys like to say anything before we go? Bye. So Norbit, I know that we're off to a kind of a bad run at the mill at the moment with uh, me and you not agreeing on things at the moment, but uh, there was that one thing that me and you were discussing the other day that I think me and you actually do agree upon. Yeah, I'm going to need a refresher because I don't remember Pigeon. You, you know how uh, I am. Wasn't it something called XP Coffee or something like that? Yeah, yes, yeah, something like that. That it had a few flavors, didn't it, if I'm not wrong? What, what were they now? Uh, well, I remember, them, I remember isolation and nightmare. But what were the other ones? One of them remind it reminds me of my trait and feature, my uh, my infusion. It sounds like that. What is it now? Uh, illusion. Yeah, that's the one. That one's nice and, and smooth. Uh, and then there was the other two, the the hot chocolate it was like choco loco or something like that. Yeah, and there was the one there, it sounds like the show. Oh, what was it now? Oh, that's it, Foon of Thrones. I, th I think you're just thinking of the word throne and tying it in with your foons there, Norbit. Nah, 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 nah. He... Don't, don't talk to me about my foons like that, Pigeon. You know I'm sensitive. Nah. But yeah, I think you might be right. I, I hate to admit it, but I think it was just thrones. Still. Either way, either way though, th there was that discount you were telling me about the other day that we could use for it. What was it again? Yeah, it was. Um, oh, what was it now? Memory, if memory serves me right, it was dirty. Ah, that was it. Code dirty twenty. Dirty for twenty. It. That's it. That's right. That makes a yeah. lot of sense. Uh, so I guess we should tell our fans that. Dirty 20 is the code to use to get 5% off of your next uh, purchase from XP Coffee. Yeah, there you go. You heard it from Pigeon yourself. 5% off with code Dirty 20. And you can get uh, some great flavors. Personal no, uh, favorites of Norbit, Funa Thrones, Meat Thrones, and Infuse it, uh, Illusion. There we go. I think I'm going to go back to drinking my coffee now. Yeah.